We're gonna have to buy something here for like a souvenir. You got to. Oh, look at. No, I have to stop you from looking at frames. You know how many frames collectively we have? <laughs> this been one's to oh, can you guys imagine when everything is done? This is gonna be our new porch design. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It's actually pretty early right now. I've been helping my mom do some stuff around the house, and I have a few things that I need to help her do today because she's been helping me so much at the house. So I was like, whatever you need, I'm here for you. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know what we did on the way back from Canton. On the drive from Canton to San Antonio, you pass through a certain city. And it dawned on me, right, when we were like planning our trip, I was like, I wonder if we drive through Waco. I've never been to Waco. Of course, Magnolia, home, the silos, all that Joanna Gaines has created is in Waco. So I was like, if we're driving through, we might as well just stop. So we didn't on the way because we really wanted to get to Canton, but on the way back we did. It was pouring down rain all the whole time, but we had so much fun. I did a fun reel for Instagram of some fun clips. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram at McKenna, you should. But here is all the footage that I got from Magnolia in Waco. saw some of the recent vlogs you've noticed that I've been trying to wake up early and be productive not because I'm not a productive person at all just I want to create better habits on staying ahead and not waiting until somewhat of the last minute to do some things kind of spreading out my to-do list so that I'm working on projects gradually instead of all at once and kind of draining myself of the project if that makes sense I am very much a person that is like greatly affected by her surroundings. Obviously, I love home decor. I love the way a space makes me feel and all sorts of stuff. So like our LA home is very like warm, inviting and cozy. And I'm surrounded by everything that I love. And then here, my parents' home is absolutely beautiful, but it's not mine. It's not particularly my style, even though she totally painted that for me, and that is absolutely gorgeous. Last week, I went through this phase where I was like, I need, if I'm gonna have to order some of these things already for the cottage, I might as well just order them now and get to enjoy them. This comforter and those pillows and this black blanket is all from my LA house. This is actually my old bedding set that I had when we had a queen bed in LA. So I put this on the bed, but also this sweet baby good morning 
morning, my love. Oh my gosh. Another thing that was bothering me that I told my mom about, I was like, why are my pillows two different shades of brown? We don't know how it happened. We don't know how we have two different shades of brown. I was like, no, 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 no. So our whole set of bedding in LA is from Brooklinen. Love it. They also have another version. Got some pillowcases. This is their Lux pillowcases. Two soft, smooth, ultra Lux pillowcases made of the same stuff dreams are made of. I just got two standard pillowcases. They're really soft. So we'll wash those. And also, Sir Latab was having a 4th of July sale. If you've seen any of my vlogs from LA, you know I drink Nespresso coffee. So here, she has a red drip coffee machine. I've used every time I come on the holidays here, when I visit, but I've been using it now for like almost six months and it's driving me insane. So I got an Nespresso machine. Oh, look it. I love this. I didn't get the set though. I didn't get like the frother and that. I don't know any of that. Let's set this baby up in the actual coffee bar that my mom has. So they have three different. I got the virtual next. It's like very skinny and slender. I thought the dark chrome black combination would go really well in the coffee bar at the cottage because I just wanted to kind of just like dissolve into it. It's just kind of subtle and disappears. Don't know how to put it together. <gasps> You can hook it up to your phone? Wait, what? Okay, I think she's done cleaning. Starbucks actually introduced their own Nespresso pods and Romeo tried them and he was like, they are they are really good. I, I really enjoy Starbucks dripped coffee. That's all I get from there. But these are the ones that I normally use in LA. It's the Molozio flavor. So I've been using this one for years. Um, and I do recycle my pods. I've even seen videos on how they separate pod and the coffee grounds that are inside and how they recycle. The bags are free and you just fill them up and then you take them or ship them back. Okay, let's try the Starbucks one. I'm so excited. Best decision. Sorry about your red coffee. Pot, it's okay. I it's okay. ex discontinued from my life. <laughs> Thrift store with mama. <laughs> Look at this. Five dollars. This is pretty. This is so cool. I love that. Five bucks. That's cool too. This is a big one like the lantern lamp that I found, but it doesn't have the globe. You guys know I'm always on the hunt for these Pyrex mixing bowls, but I already have this size, but it's only $2. I should get it for $2? I would. Oh, you guys have been sending me like pictures when you find them in your area or at different thrift stores, like these Pyrex bowls. And I actually have seen them online, but I'm actually enjoying the hunt. Like I want to find them. You know what I mean? Like I want to make the collection. I don't know, something about it is like thrilling. Like I go into the thrift store, like, am I gonna find it today? I don't know, am I gonna watch? I usually do, so it hasn't been too hard. So it's been kind of fun, but I appreciate you guys sending them to me. It's like we're looking for the same stuff. Good morning, guys. Of course, today is Friday, and today is another Fredericksburg Flea Market Day. This is a monthly standing flea market that we go to every month. It's the Fredericksburg Trade Days. I actually missed last month because I was in Los Angeles, went to the Rose Bowl Flea Market, so it wasn't the end of the world. And the reason that we go is I'm always looking for some thing else, something um, a more detail for the house or something. So we are on a mission today. I want to see if I can find a mantle, a period correct mantle, early 1900s mantle. It's a long shot, but I got to keep looking until I find it. So we can't exactly miss a flea market opportunity to find something like that. I also am looking for some really pretty vintage or old looking handles for two nightstands that I'm making for an upcoming video. I found some turned legs, eight of them at the last flea market that we went to in Canton and I really want to turn them into nightstands and I want to see this project come to life so I want to work on it and I want to use all salvaged wood that we have from the house so we just need to find some pretty you know handles because I want to put some drawers in them so that so mantle poles one other thing one other thing oh a few months ago I actually saw a piece of furniture that used to be a, uh, a wet sink wet sink dry bar no wet sink dry sink 
McKenna. And it was really pretty. It really was reminiscent of what the cottage looks like. And I wanted to turn it into a vanity. I want to go back and see if it's still there. Look at it again. So there are some things that we're still in the hunt for, which is why we go to so many flea markets. So let's see if we can find these things. We'll have more fun flashing our <laughs> annual pass. <laughs> Okay, so I already told him what, I, what we're, what I'm looking for. What are you looking for? I am looking for the trunk I bought. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Mom bought a trunk last time when I wasn't here, so we have to pick that up. Anything else you're looking for? Just look at this. Look at these, you guys. Brass poles for $10. Pretty. But what would I use them for? I don't. I didn't want to do brass poles in the kitchen. We should have brought the cart, Mom. Oh, these are cute. Little salt and pepper shakers. This is a pretty little table right here, but it's so short. That's got to be only like. It's not even two foot. Didn't we bring tape? You did. I did. <laughs> did I? Did. <laughs> I thought you did. It's forty-five dollars, but like it's kind of like a vintage buy. But it, I think it's too short for any place. I have a cool bookshelf. See, I have excellent measurable skills. And Nineteen inches. 19. See, I said it's not even two foot. So it's just a small table. It's too small. Okay, so here's a three foot ish table here for ninety-five. It's like a butcher block table. This is one of my favorite booths here. The Lost Cow. Really good stuff. There she is, still here. What do you guys think about this? It's a dry sink. So this part is open, but this part is closed. I was thinking about putting a piece of granite stone here and setting the sink down in it here. And then it would kind of be open. I don't know. So I don't think it's worth 300. Like 200 maybe. So there's a vintage floor lamp in that other barn. And I'll put in the clips that I have. I look at it every month. I, it's been there for a while and it, they haven't sold it. But it, I always go away. I just walk away because it's marked 245. I'm like, no way. Then I asked her, I was like, what's her best price? So she called the owner and she said 220. Still way too much. Maybe maybe it's worth that, but it's not worth that to me. So I passed. We'll see if it's there next month. Maybe it'll be lower. Mom's fine. It's spindles. Those are chunkier. Here's some poles. And we're really on a mission for these. We've looked at this gold chandelier a couple of times since we've been when we come. She's very pretty. I like how delicate this these parts are. You know, we just need to straighten them and I need to find a big, pretty thing chandelier for the dining room. I haven't bought a thing. That is so vintage. sad. I'm gonna say I'm specific. Bar. I've had to get no. I've had to stop you from looking at frames. You know how many frames collectively we have? How between? many have I bought? One. <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? Put me his picture in it. <laughs> Not gonna paint. I'm gonna put me his picture. In it. Look at this mirror. Mm -hmm. Alright, we've been this wanting to repaint it, so when we bought our house oh, customers, we so got And then... Mom has bought so much stuff, and I've bought, I, I've literally bought one thing. I have seen these canisters a couple of times when I come here, and they're 15 each, but they're 20% off now, and I really do like them. I like them. I like this ceramic little topper. And it's wood. I feel like I've gotten a little bit of a deal on my coffee maker. This is $100. I've seen two more, all $95, $110. This one's in really bad shape, too. So maybe it's a deal. I didn't find a ton. I did find a few things. Some a few nice things. You put in a mailbox on your shed? Yeah. You think people are going to leave you little notes? Are you full yet? Yeah, she's full. First thing, mom actually saw these. Well, we first saw one. We didn't know that there was going to be two, two of them. Now granted, I found two 
and Canton for the front, but there's a lot of other kind of like porch lighting, hardware lighting that I need for like the back porch, but I don't want them all random, you know. So these, I got two of these for 20 bucks. So $10 a piece. I would love to leave them brass. We could paint them so that they all are black like that one. We have to see um, how this all plays out, but maybe we'll do a this or that, like which ones do we like for the front porch and then kind of like go from there. Um, I think I like the other ones, but got these. Next thing I got was this teapot. It's 10 metal. Oh, I actually put something inside. Hold on. It's metal and it's like a creamy color with this light wood little topper on the lid and then a light wood handle. I thought it was so cute. This looks like a cottage style teapot to me. There were a couple of other teapots that were like more iron than I was looking at, but they weren't exactly it. So I love this one. This one is so pretty. I got this one for $14. And then I found two handles for a DIY that I'm working on. I'm making two end tables right now for my future bedroom here <laughs> with all of the spindle the legs the turned wood legs that we got in canton um so i wanted to find some handles to go on them these were a little skinnier than i had envisioned for the drawers on each of the nightstands um but i think with what we're gonna do other detailing that i'm gonna put on there i think these are gonna work these are the only ones i really found that i liked too but i thought they were really pretty see all the detail on them how much did i get these for four dollars for both yeah $4. Four four dollar four dollars for both, so two dollars a piece. I have looked at these canisters every time we've gone to the flea market. Every time, and I pick them up and I look at them and I'm like, oh, those are so cool with the wooden top. They're glass, obviously, with the wooden top and the ceramic little knob. I always look at them and they were marked fifteen dollars a canister, but all of her stuff was twenty percent off. But she gave me a little more. I got two two of these for twenty two dollars. I think twenty percent would have been. $24 dollars <laughs> math. <laughs> I think that's right. So I got two of them. I thought that they would be really pretty in the pantry because I'm gonna have lots of shelving in the pantry and you're gonna be able to walk in and you're gonna have like, I'm gonna have like a pretty light in there and I thought that, that would be really pretty. So I got two of those. The last thing that I found was just for its kind of parts. I thought this drawer was so pretty. And this is kind of the look that I wanna go for for the drawers on the nightstands that I'm building. I love all the filigree work and I love this little knob right here. Um, I can use, I'm gonna use the knob for something else, obviously I need two of them, so I, didn't, I don't have two. I'm gonna use this um, for something else special, but I'm gonna use the filigree part of it and make an impression of it and duplicate them with resin for my end tables. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. You guys let me know that it's probably a bad idea that I'm leaving my books in here that I found. These. <laughs> um, because of the humidity. And I didn't even think about that. Like, didn't even cross my mind. And so thank you guys. I'm actually going to bring these books. All of the books. All of the books. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. I'm already dressed. It's like 10. I have to film... I have some DIYs to do, but I gotta run down to the house because I conveniently left my tripod to my camera at the house. Yesterday at the flea market was fun, even though I really, I mean, I found a few things, which is great. I'm being very particular about what I'm looking for for the house because I just feel like we're still in such an early stage and something really has to blow me away or I have to absolutely know that I need it in order to get it at this point. Kind of like that with like DIYs and stuff. We're in this weird middle point with the renovation where it's too early to really make anything substantial for the house like in terms of DIYs like furniture. We have to store it all. You know, so I don't want it to get messed up. What, what was the point in putting all the effort into it for something to get messed up? And, you know, I want to do those when they actually have a place to go in the house and I can see it come to life and I can make it perfect in terms of measurements and all of that type of stuff. So we're not there yet. So it's really hard to kind of do um, some DIYs, but also we've done all the work that we possibly can myself on the house. So I really just need the contractors to start you know, like to get moving. It has not rained in like four days straight, which is incredible. 
because it was been raining so much straight since March that we just could not get rolling on things. House is going to be leveled and worked on and supported on Monday, which is in two days. And as soon as that's happened, they can pour the foundation for the addition and things are gonna be framing, framing up, like the addition part and other things on the inside that I want um, someone else to work on. It's just a whole process. Things have to come in order. So it's been a little frustrating being just in this middle ground. It's like, what do I do? What do I not do? What's too early? What's, what do I need to be working on, you know? There she is. <laughs> we actually cleaned everything out, except for the wood, obviously they're gonna use that. We actually cleaned out the house because they're gonna be working in here. Oh, can you guys imagine when everything is done? I'm ready. I demoed everything off, saved a lot of money, but let's go, you know? I'm kind of setting up where I'm going to be filming. So I'm very particular about my backgrounds <laughs> on my videos when I'm doing DIYs. So usually I set up my camera and I look to see what my camera is going to see, like where it needs to be really pretty and get everything else out of the way. So this is kind of like as far out as I can go like that. So now I need to make everything here pretty and I can move the table back so you see more of my workspace. Then I'll put pretty things up here too, like things I love. You. Grab a little jar or something and then this can be pulled back. I wish I had like a tree, but I don't. I don't have a tree. You guys, update. I can't do this DIY. My brain literally goes like this. Okay. We're gonna make these um, nightstands. We're gonna do this. We're gonna, like, how tall do I want them? Okay, you know, like 30 inches, I think is like the highest. And, it, and then all of a sudden, my brain will go, how tall did I make those windows? Are those windows right? I should look at the plans again. I should make sure. And then I go and look at the plans. And then like 30 minutes passes by. I'm like, oh, I gotta work on the DIY. I go back and I'm like, okay, we're gonna like, what stain color should I stain it? What the details, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, did I make sure that there was a plug in that room? Did I make sure? My brain is so hyper focused by this house and the house plan and making sure that everything runs smoothly starting on Monday that I can't get through it. I put it on my stories that I can't post the video. Because it, there's just, there's no way. I've done like nothing and I've been working on it all day. And of course we have time before I need nightstands in my bedroom. I have no bedroom yet. Literally stopped what I was doing in there and I keep coming in here looking at my plans. And now I've strewn out all over the counter <laughs> like this. And I'm like, I need my doors. I need to look at the doors again. So this is something I worked on the other day when I should have been working on my DIY. So this, so this is the porch right now. Um, and you can see just how bad shape the roof is in. All of the metal is, is totally rusted. All of this, everything, the floor, all the bottoms of all of the columns, all here, all rotten. It's just, it's horrible. The only thing that's in good condition are these headers here and the wood that's underneath the metal in like half of it. This is gonna be our new porch design and it's, you can see that it's really similar. It's got the post, the turn wood post, the spindles, it's the same shape, it's the same everything. It's gonna be structurally sound. But you see how many spindles are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spindles here. I think there should be more like 12. So you see how it fills the space in more. It becomes more of a statement and it's not so sparse like that. We're gonna be taking this weird door out, of course. We don't need two front doors. We're gonna be putting three windows across here, like so. One, two, three. This post here, I'm playing with the idea of having just kind of a newel or a half little post just to support the run of the railing because we can put a header here that it's not going to structurally need this post. This was actually my contractor's idea. With the post would look like that. And you see how it, it obstructs the view here from the windows but it is original to the house. But my mom, my contractor, and 84 Five or 86% of you guys said you would do half post to not obstruct this. And I'm with you guys, I'm with my mom, I'm with my contractor. It, rather than obstructing that view from the windows, doing the half post and just, just supporting it with the header for the porch, it's not holding up much weight. So it's definitely possible. It doesn't structurally need that post. And we're gonna save $400 by not putting another post there. It's kind of the way to go. That's where my brain is at. That's why I'm not doing DIYs. That's why I can't wrap my head around it. 
Okay, it's now Sunday. Oh, I just got back from the house. Mom's making dinner. I was down at their house. They are coming tomorrow to start things on the house. So there was this piece of fly, uh, plywood, plywood on the floor in our in our future kitchen. Are you laughing at me for saying plywood? No. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Plywood. <laughs> I don't know why I said plywood. There was plywood on the floor, but it was thick. It took me forever to get it up, but I wanted it up so that they had kind of easier access to, but are you still laughing at me? No. <laughs> I wanted to get it up for them so that it's easier for them to get underneath the house, especially in that area to put more support for our future kitchen. But I got samples from, uh, these are actually deck flooring samples if we want to go the composite flooring route so that it, it is more expensive up front, but it's so much better in the long run. And I'm so traumatized by all that porch being rotten. Um, and it's a lot of upkeep with real wood, with painting it and that stuff. But this is from Trex. Ordered like different um, levels. Like they have like their premier stuff that's a lot more per square foot. And then they have their middle grade and then they have their lower grade. So here are the three options. I believe, just by looking at it, I think that this was the lower end of the price point. This is still a lot cheaper to do. This is the higher end, because you can tell that it has more like variation and it looks more like real stained wood. So we shall see. I'll obviously be getting more samples. We'll be doing a whole like patio video where I'm showing you guys a lot of stuff. That was just something that I was working on recently and I wanted to get some samples. <sighs> I'm so excited for tomorrow, guys. I can't wait for them to start doing things. More of them working, not me kind of thing so I can design <laughs> and see it start to come to life faster. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button binge watch all of the renovation videos because you need to be prepared. A new episode of many episodes to come is starting this coming Sunday and you're not gonna wanna miss them over on my other channel and of course behind the scenes on the vlog. So subscribe to both channels. <laughs> and I will see you guys again on Sunday for another video. Bye guys.